Hello, YouTube. All those who happen to watch. I got a package in the mail. <sighs> so, come with me, follow in, concede, carry on. And we'll proceed. Alright, so... Uh, <laughs> so let's see what we got in the mail today. For our package, number 10. Is it 10? Anywho gonna dab in here and yep it is what I think it is because my brother had the other copy and mm -hmm, that's what I paid for excellent cool paid 655 for this because you know I forget the prices of these all right, so put this in the garbage. But all right, this is what I got in the mail. Castlevania three, because I did not have this in my collection. I at one point did have this, but my brother's uh, Famicom did not work with this. It did not. It was not having it. So, long story short, uh I probably have to clean this, maybe. Hmm, maybe, perhaps. Huh, well, that's interesting. But, alright, so, long story short, got this, gonna add this to my collection. Now, also, speaking of Castlevania, I wanted to show this to my good friend Luke, because I was telling him about this on, uh, on MSN about a card I have and how it's, you know, destroyed. You probably hear some music in the background that's cal that's uh Resident Evil. Anywho. Alright, so as you can see from the car it's smashed. You know, it's broken. I got this for like three bucks at a thrift store. And, you know, you, you look at this cart going, oh my god, who could do such a thing to a beautiful game like this? Some sicko, probably. But the cart's casing got smashed, you know, and it's... But, the game still works wonderfully. You just pop it in, play it, because, you know, the cart is at the bottom of this, so... Yeah. <laughs> I was lucky enough with that. I was fortunate enough. Also... Got Castlevania Simon's Quest. Now I got part three to add to my collection. So now I got all three for the NES, which I'm kind of happy with. Though I did want the. I'm going to probably work on getting the Famicom version of uh, Cat Dracula's Curse because that's considered the uh, best version of it. Because they have like, a lot of, you know, Santanic stuff in it and all that. And they, you know, by the time they released it for America standards, they didn't have all the crap in there. The. There was like demons and all that. Instead of like, you know, the those flea men they switched them out for the uh, well they switched it from rather the demons they had that were hopping around they switched it with the deep Tr try out the ROM <laughs> that's all I gotta say or if you have the game you probably have it sitting in your collection you bought it for Famicom the Famicom version goes from I, I can't remember it's like $30 or something for the, the uh, Famicom cart in the states but it's an awesome game, no doubt, and they cannot, even the cover's badass, you know, you got him just chilling on the front there, you got Simon chilling, he's just whipping ass on that, he just, look at him. You know, it's an awesome storyline as well, it, it was a, it was a great game for the NES, I'm gonna do some footage for this after too. Um, also, my friend, Disk pointed out something to me, and I, I, when I saw this, I was like, what? <laughs> because, um... I'll 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 sh I'll talk about it after. It was, it's quite embarrassing, actually. But other than that, that's really what I want to sh talk to you guys about. So, uh, so with that said, uh, take it easy, guys, and I'll show you some more stuff I get in the mail later on.